my name is Jamie Bolet. I'm an Army vet and I'm the founder of Pink Momo. First, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for showing up tonight. This is a real honor to be here and to share this stage with such wonderful entrepreneurs. Uh, so thank you for that. Before I tell you more about Pink Momo, I'd like to share with you a quick story. Besides, this won't be Technoria unless you heard a story first, right? So um, I'd like to introduce you to Billy. And if you're wondering why Billy looks so sad, it's not because Donald Trump won the elections last week. So. <laughs> he, he's actually really sad. <laughs> so Billy's really sad because um, his mom, Susan, was supposed to pick him up at 6 p.m. from the soccer field. It's 6.30 right now, and Susan's nowhere to be found. He's still laughing at the arch. <laughs> so Susan is actually still downtown. She's rushing to catch the last express train. If Susan misses that train, poor Billy's going to be stuck in that field for about another hour. Can you guys resonate with this? Any parents in the room? Does this sound familiar? Okay, it should resonate because this, this is not an uncommon story. In fact, this is a story that plays out every day where over 80 million parents that are struggling to find safe transportation for their kids. It's a real problem. It's a real challenge. Uh, I feel their pain because two years ago, I was in their shoes. This is my daughter, Jamie. She's actually here. Can you stand up and say hi to everybody? That's Jamie. So I like to say I'm the founder of Big Mama, but she's the reason why the company exists. It's your fault. Uh, so like I said, two years ago, I was a single dad, and I struggled a lot trying to find transportation for her. During her junior year, she actually got a part-time job, and it became really, really impossible for me to get back home on time to pick her up and take her to school, to work. So I did something that no parent should ever do, and I did it out of desperation mainly. I told Jamie she needed to take a cab, 16 years old taking a cab, that no parent should ever do that. It was a horrible experience for me. Uh, we came up with our own little system, so at least it gave me a little bit of comfort knowing that she got picked up. She was texting me the cab number, so God forbid something happened. I knew who to call, who to contact. Um, and then, but she was also supposed to text me and let me know that she got to her destination to work safely. Those few times that she did not text me back, those are some of the most frightening, scary moments for any parents. It was a real frustration point for me. It was so frustrating that I decided that, and there was no solution out there that could help us with this. So that's why I decided to create Ping Momo. So Ping Momo, our number one goal is very simple is to solve that universal need for parents to find safe and reliable transportation for our kids for those moments when we cannot do it ourselves. So I did a lot of customer interviews. I talked to a lot of parents about this issue. And what I find out is a lot of parents are actually carpooling their kids with people that they know. But it's still a big challenge for a lot of us. And for many of us, it's actually our biggest headache. So there are solutions in the market right now. So some parents are using Uber and, and Lyft and even taxi services. The problem with this is, when you request a ride, you have no idea who's coming to pick up your kid. And that's scary. At Ping Momo, our number one goal is really to establish trust between the parent and a potential carpool driver. We want to make sure that whoever's picking up your kids is somebody that you know and you trust. We do this in two different ways. The first way we do it is through social validation. Social validation is the process that we're creating where we work with the school systems to ensure that the people that are driving our kids are indeed, pe are indeed people that we can trust. The second thing we're doing is we're bringing a community aspect into this. We actually created uh, meetups where parents can meet each other face to face and they can get to know each other. And the whole idea behind this is very simple. It's so you can start creating your own little networks of people that you know and trust. So like I said, I've spoken to a lot of parents about this. The number one thing I keep hearing over and over is that I'm not gonna put my kid in the car with a stranger. So this is our number one, our whole, pro, our whole business is centered around this idea. Carpool the kids with people you trust. Once that initial trust is established, then this is what we do as a business. Once that initial trust is established, what we do is we provide you with all the necessary tools using our mobile app to make it super easy for parents to plan, schedule, and track each ride. And what we want to do is we want to give parents complete control over the whole entire carpooling experience. So at Pink Momo, our goal is to build communities of parents helping parents, solving this universal need that's been out there for years. Um, and what we want to do is actually build a sense of community. I, one of the parents I spoke to recently, she told me she loves the whole concept, she loves the idea about setting up trusted networks and communities. What I told her is that what I like to do is I like to bring the 1950s back. And uh, this is the time when parents knew each other, the neighbors knew each other. 
uh, and parents didn't mind looking out, looking out for each other's kids. Wouldn't that be great? So I'm actually here today for two simple requests. I like to, number, first of all, I'm one of those companies that Justin mentioned that came to the bunker about four months ago, just with an idea and a concept, and I'm so grateful for where I'm at right now, thanks to the bunker. I'm here because I'd like to, first of all, I'd like everybody to go to our website, to pingmomo.com, and just sign up for updates. Let your neighbors, let your, let your friends, let your coworkers know that there's a solution for this problem that's coming soon with Ping Momo. And then secondly, we're recruiting. We're, I'm trying to find people that can join our team. I'm particularly looking for a technical co-founder. I'm also looking for a marketing co-founder, somebody that has some digital marketing experience. So if you're interested, please come see me afterwards. We are an early stage company with a very big vision. And we would love for you, all of you, to become part of our journey. My name is Jamie Velez, and we are Ping Moment. Thank you.